Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller, the podcast. I'm joined by Seth. Hey, welcome, guys. Thanks for finding us on, uh, on, the, on the internet. Now, these shows originally aired on Brookings Radio, but now they're all here for your enjoyment. I hope you like it. There you go. Sit back, enjoy the show, relax. Uh, let us know if you want to see anything on future shows. As we said, the, this comes out live in the Brookings area, but enjoy this archive episode. Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Welcome to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. On this episode, in honor of America's birthday this week, we explore the American craft beer pioneers, those brave brewers who helped start the craft beer movement and are still around today. Oh, pioneers, so young and brave. Craft beer historians point to a brewery in California as the starting point. Fritz Maytag started Anchor Steam with just a collection of used and secondhand and thirdhand beer gear. Okay, let me interrupt here briefly. Fritz Maytag is an heir to the washing machine fortune. Okay, back to Seth Cook, head brewer at Wooden Legs Brewing here in Brookings. He went out there with a very crazy idea. Um, he revitalized uh, the brewing industry in that area, but he's made quite a name brand for himself. It's a real testament uh, to ingenuity and, and, and stick to itness. Anchor Steam Beer um, now is the pinnacle of the California common style. It's encouraging to see that one of the first forefathers of our industry made such a name for himself on a beer that was original to America. In fact, the California Common is probably the only beer style native to America. It took a few years, but in the 80s, several home brewers were inspired by Maytag and a few other pioneers to also try their hand at brewing beer. Brennan Sully Sullivan at Pints and Court says, along with Anchor, Sierra Nevada, Rogue, and Sam Adams were important pioneers. It goes from like those four breweries, and then it opens up to like New Belgium, the Odell, the Chutes, Goose Island, North Coast, and then it kind of opens the door into a lot more smaller regional breweries, and then micros, and then kind of filtering down to brew pubs and things like that. It's Kind of a neat progression. Sam Adams has likely introduced more people to craft beer than any other brand, while California-based Sierra Nevada put hop-forward beers into the mainstream. Oh, Chico there, um, they had immediate access to a lot of green hops, um, a lot of fresh hops, a lot of hop farmers, a lot of hop culture. So Sierra Nevada is a great example of, of probably the first West Coast style. These amazing beer pioneers have kind of fallen out of favor with some in the craft beer movement. We'll explore that in part two. Everywhere around the world They come to America Welcome back to Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Today we're exploring U.S. craft beer pioneers. Now, many of these pioneers we've been talking about don't get a lot of love these days from the beer geek crowd. Sully says successful isn't always seen as cool. They got big. They were successful, or they are successful in most cases. And uh, and that's just kind of the nature of the beast. You know, they get big, and well, if you're big, you know, you're... You're the man, and you're not, uh, you're, not, you're not as cool as you need to be. There's also, according to Seth, often a craving for the newest thing. It is a bit ironic that these guys that, that broke trail for everybody sometimes get forgotten. I think sometimes craft beer fans may get too used to a brand and too excited about the next new thing. Um, but if they, you know, I would challenge everybody to sit down and give these guys a look again because they're still making phenomenal beers. Although they're more common now, there's a reason they're common. There's a reason they're widely available. It's because they're really good beers. Brookings Liquor Store Beer Guide, Drew Eckling. The latest generation of um, craft brew lovers don't really latch on to a brand. Um, they don't really have brand loyalty. They're, they're looking for, you know, the new, the next best thing. The pick of the week for this July 4th holiday is an American classic. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale has been around for decades. Grapefruit and piney hops up front. Some underlying malt sweetness mark this beer that is also 
the Pints and Quartz Mike Handel Beer of the Week. Those that are looking for an, for an entry-level craft beer, uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is, is one of those that, that is certainly a go-to and one of those that, uh, that everyone can sit back and enjoy. Thanks, Tyler Luckhurst, Pints and Quartz General Manager. Look for the Mike Tap Handle at Pints and Quartz and enjoy a glass on draft of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, a true classic. Sometime during this 4th of July holiday, consider picking up a beer from one of these American pioneer brewers. As Seth Cook says, they're really good beers. And that's it for this week's edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Be sure to like us on Facebook next week. Beer festivals in the spotlight. Until then, drink local and drink responsibly. Thank you for listening to this archived edition of Beer Untapped with Perry Miller. Feel free to listen to other episodes. And if there's anything you'd like us to talk about on a future show, please let us know. Thanks again.